Why did the Kisi guy leave his sleepy friend in Zimbabwe? Are you on the I'm watching episode 7 maze inani bamba sana vile tunakimbiza hiyo season turning out to be one of my favorite series man hey, yani kila series tunachomoa inaenda tu ikivunja record zake tu yani i'm loving it iko swafi i hope mnaniletea watu wa diaspora tunawahitaji sana it's very important that they are part of this tunawahitaji sana Right before I get into it nataka niwakumbushe ya kwamba hapa mahali mnaniona Mantari imeti Mantari imekubali ni mahali panaitwa Longonot Heights Apartments. <laughs> Tulisema bana wewe si Kiberiti unaishi kwa nyumba moja. Once in a while kasirika tembea town angalia Mantari tofauti tofauti ingia aje eh? change the environment a little bit. Eh hey, hakuna makosa hapo. Yeah, Longonot Heights eh iko tu hapa town lakini the serenity is unmatched. Tupenda sana. I don't think there's any uh, father ado eh, nitaingia katika kipindi na leo kipindi cha leo wa kurugenzi ni kipindi cha kuinspire watu eh, ikifika ni mambo ya resilience. Unajua ile kujituma despite eh, wakati ambapo vitu vinakani kama havi make sense unazidi unajisukuma vilivyo sababu bwana ile grit hiyo ndio inafanya tunafikisha goals zetu tuna achieve goals zetu vile inafaa na hii story nilipata kutoka kwa one of the wakurugenzis nikasema hii if not for anything wacha tu niipige bwana ku inspire wale wakuru wamekuwa wakicheza kitu for some time but inakani kama haingii eh nataka tu niwaambie keep at it musichoke sawa sawa very nice wakurugenzi mwaka ni 2019 yeah 2019 kuna msichana hapa amemaliza kidato cha 4 amepiga form 4 yake safi pale na mambo iko sawa sababu results zimekuja na ziko fiti lakini huyu mrembo hatafuti university kwa nini sababu imekuwa her lifelong goal and dream kuhakikisha ya kwamba sorry immediately after high school anaenda wapi majuu toka 2019 rudi nyuma kabisa huko mpaka sometime huko before 2010 huyu msichana akiwa primary school bana alikuwa na interact na some of her cousins ambao wako wapi UK actually ni huko ma mid 2000s na kuna kitu ilikuwa inawafurahisha sana ingawa alikuwa msichana mdogo wale cousins wake ambao wako UK walikuwa na tuma picha na mapasel sababu hiyo enzi social media ilikuwa bado haijashika vile unapata so watu wakiwa kule majua walikuwa naikaga mapicha zao bana kwa eh, poster inaletwa teketeke kama mzigo eh hakuna kazi tunafanya sande ni ku go through picha one by one one by one na kama mlikuwa na mtu majuu wewe unajua picha za majuu vile zilikuwa zinakaa mtu wangu Yaani ni kama lighting ya huko ni tofauti, background imeti. Wewe ukipigwa picha tu kitu unaweza weka nyuma yako ni store ya mahindi ama shed ya ngombe. Huko mambo iko tu sawa. Yaani hapo picha inakuja hapa chini iko na kadate kama yako hapo digitally. Unaweza tell hii picha ilipigwa siku gani? Ah. Wewe bila ule mtu wa baiskeli, bobi bobi, bobi bobi, picha bobi bobi, hauna picha. <laughs> na unaweza pigwa picha na huyu jamaa alafu iende ichome it will make you, ah my friend it's it's hard to imagine how far we've come in only what 20 25 years hey. anyway so walikuwa wanashuhudia mapicha za huko UK sana na huyu msichana bana every time she'd look at those photos maze alikuwa tu anajiambia man this is where i need to be 
but alikuwa haelewi dynamics za kwenda majuzi kwa aje. ni mtoto mdogo so kila time anashinda kiuli za wazazi eh hey, si tutuke tu hapa bana tuende hii mayolo manake wewe ona hapa tunakula ngori bana hata tukula ginyama kila siku ona watu wa majuu twende huko tutoke hapa alikuwa anafikiria watu utoka tu wanaingia ndege wana wanazidi but as, as she grew older kakama kaanza kuelewa story ya majuu vizuri ni nini, nini by the time anaingia high school hata UK akaanza kuachana naye sababu alikuwa shaanza ku na Hollywood movies na nini na Texas iliko inamkalia tu mm, this is the place naweza taka sana kwenda Texas so akajiambia akimaliza high school hakuna kitu kingine hata kutafuta university afanyi anaenda wapi Texas bas kapiga high school eh, eh, akamaliza kafanya mtihani katoka na akaanza shughuli ya kutafuta nini njia ya kwenda majuu of course the easiest ina kuaga kujaza kitu inaitwa green card sababu green card ukiangukia everything taken care of ah unalipiwa kila kitu unaenda unatafutiwa mpaka shule huko kazi nini wanahakikisha mambo yako iko sawa so akajaza ma green card wewe akajaza hiyo 2019 mwisho akajaza 2020 akajaza 2021 Kumbe hii kitu ni chai, bahati nasibu hakuna guarantee eh, ni ipata potea eh, now you have it now you don't ah akaona hapa ni, ni noma so ai akaza kutafuta designs nyingine juu hii dream ya majuu lazima ihappen unaona sasa tushatoka 2019 tushaanza kuingia 2021 peers wake washaenda makampo mazee washaingia wako karibu kuingia ma second year wengine ye yeah, bado wako tu pale akitafuta namna ya kwenda majuu katika pilka pilka zake za research mrembo anakuja anagundua kuna agent ako mahali panaitwa ruaka huyu agent ni hatari huyu anafikisha anasafirisha watu kweli kweli unaenda tu pale anakutengenezea document zako safi kama ni US unataka unaingia kama ni Canada unataka unaingia so akajiambia wacha tujaribu ume jamaa jua hey, amekuwa kisukuma sukuma watu wengi hebu tuingie huko tuone kasi si pia tutafanya nini tabahatika so akaambia madhe eh hey, mami nasikia kuna agent mdeadly anasukuma ah, watu huko mbaya wacha niingie huko nione eh, kama form itakuwa sawa so mama yake akambia na mambo waenda jaribu teke teke mrembo akaingia akaingia akapata kuna kikosi cha majamaa wako hapo pia wanangoja mtu wa agency afanye mambo ya, yake waelekee So katika ile kuongea ongea na watu eh, aka discover huyu alikaa mjua alikuwa referred to na jamaa mwingine mwenye tayari ashasafiri. Huyu pia amekaa sababu mtu alimrifa ni mtu tayari ashaingia Canada. So akaanza kuna na huyu jamaa kona success rate deadly sana. So this guy must be legit. So akakuwa ikakuwa sawa tuchangamke na yeye. So akakaa chini wakapiga story vizuri akamuelezea akamwambia mimi nataka kwenda majuu kwanza Texas inaniitanga mbaya mbaya. Eh actually ningekuwa na uniform ya KWS ningeingia Texas ndio waniite Texas Ranger. <laughs> anyway, um jamaa akamwambia aina mambo uko tutakuingiza. Eh wewe unakaa msichana mdogo ni nini nini so kile tutafanya tutakutafutia shule. Tukuaplyie shule kule then wale wakikukubali watakutumia hiyo uh, acceptance letter ya kuingia huko. Sasa wewe hiyo barua ndio tutakimbia nayo pale embassy. Tukiingia pale embassy tujaze kila kitu tuseme unaenda shule ni nini nini hiyo 80% chance utapata. Chukua ndege yako pale, ingia pale na barua yako ya shule. Lakini ukishaingia US like this, like a this like a that. Ambia watu oh 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 mali umetoka kuna ngori. Uwi una kula ngori. Serikali haikutaki watu wako after you uko vibaya. Wakupatia kitu inaitwa nini? Asylum. Kama utaki asylum, si uko na barua, si uende tu shule basi. Enda tu usome. Hii inakuaga ya wale watu wa wana ifi, sababu ifi pia si shilingi mbili. So wewe ukipatiwa barua unaingia huko lakini unaenda unasema ni asylum, unaenda kutafuta kazi huko. Ah, basi. Maze mrembo akarudi home maze na excitement akaambia mama yake sasa mom you believe it <laughs> nimekutana na ule agent ameniambia kila kitu step by step tuta apply shule tukipata shule tuingie pale embassy tu apply tupatiwe documents zetu teketeke sisi hao ndege tukifika tu US like a this like a that tunaambia wa majamaa eh, uko tunakula fire eh, watutafutie kitu inaitwa asylum 
ukweli wa mambo ni mama yake hiyo story mm, hakui feel hata kidogo ai asylum na wakipiga background check wapate wewe hata mni nobody hakuna mtu anakukimbiza hata umbo ya jirani haina haja na wewe haikukimbizaji wagundue tu umewadanganya wewe unafikiria hiyo itakuweka kwa position gani but mrembo akamconvince akamwambia ah, ah we hii iko sawa watu wengi wameenda wako huko sasa hii as we speak so madam akamwambia ina mambo so we ukienda hizo ma appointment nini naweza prefer kwenda na wewe ndio kama tu kuna kitu ina happen pale na saini fraishi niko na wewe hapo ndani So the next time wanaenda kwa ofisi kuanza kufanya majambos mama akamfuata wakaenda wakakaa chini na agent akaanza kushoot maswali left right and center hiyo hey, nini yako okay sawa akiingia huko wapige investigation wapate anadanganya itakuwaje ah jamaa anamwambia we kuwa optimistic bana kuwa mpositive wacha kufikiria negative but mama na insist hapana bana lazima tuhakikishe options zote bana tumeangalia tusiende tukaumia Aya amefika huko aseme anataka asylum wamnyime kunaenda aje na unaona hiyo shule ni expensive usidhani tuko na pesa ya kuilipa itakuwa aje eh hey, huyu jamaa anashinda kiwaambia wao sijali watu wengi wameenda eh hey, watu wameenda wengi huko kuwa na imani ai hey, mama alitoka hapo tu akijiambia hapana hey, yeah, um, there's just something before long mnakumbuka huyu mtoto ako na cousins wako UK Ha, very nice. Ujumbe ikatoka from the blues. Oh, no, see from the blues. Msichana alikuwa anashinda akiwaambia vile anatafuta sana kwenda majuu na nini na nini na nini. So one time wakamrushia ujumbe, wakamwambia, "Ah, ah, ah, guess what? Hapa UK kuna company zinaandikana kazi. Na sisi tunajuana na wale ma agent ambao wanafanya hiyo kazi ya recruiting." Unaonaje si ujaribu hiki tu bana uingie teketeke. Eh, hey, ukamka umeanza kazi bas usukume maisha mama ya msichana akajua ah ah, ah. kwa hivyo uk wanaandikana kazi eh ah very nice in fact ile ya ule mtu wa canada wachana nayo wakurugenzi kuna step nilikuwa nimesahau despite the fact that huyu mama alikuwa kidogo ana feel ish ish na history ya, ya asylum us waliamua ku proceed So kwa ile process pale kulikuwa na kutoa 100,000 ya kufacilitate ma 1212. So walikuwa washatoa ile 100k. Una cheki? Like ka process kalikuwa kashaanza. Washa mpaka wameenda wamebook appointment huko kwa embassy nini? Eh, I think appointment date walikuwa washapatiwa. Ka process kalikuwa kashaanza anza. Na una cheki umresha ko impatient jua mejaribu green card for almost two years imekataa. So hii process ashaianza, ashalipa mpaka ile 100k. Anangojea sasa tu kwenda interview wapi US embassy. So hii story ya UK kakam. Madam akakuja akaambia msichana wake sasa ile mambo ya oh asylum US nini? Wachana nayo. Tunakimbiza hii ya UK sababu wamesema wana recruit na wanapatiana kazi. Msichana akajiambia oh my god akitusha mpaka tushalipa bana. Tunangojea tu interview ifike ma ni nini wacha tumalize hii process ikikataa tuingie basi nini ah madam akamwambia hapana. Kitu tu ndani yangu inaniambia that's not the right direction to take. We changamka na hii ya UK sababu unaona ni mradi ya serikali. Serikali inajua mnaenda huko kufanya kazi. Hii ingine ya oh hapana. Hiyo I'm not feeling it 100%. So them alikuwa very disappointed but sasa naona mzazi ndio anatoa hii pesa. Hata hiyo 100,000 nimepotea ni mzazi tu alitoa. So akajiambia ni sawa acha tuanze kukimbiza hii hii ya UK. Akaanza process sasa pale kuna mavitu mnahitajika mkuwe nazo kwanza before hata process ianze vizuri mavitu mnahitajika among those things ni eh, certificate ya kuonyesha uko sawa kimombo uko sawa kiingereza wewe ni mtu ukienda huko utaenda kuongelesha watu eh, ni ate ya modo hakuna we uko sawa eh, ufalsafa wa loha ya kimombo akaambiwa sasa piga mtiani hapo. E, wengi tunajua ile inaitwa TOEFL, T O E F L. Sasa hii yao iko na jina nyingine. Nimesahau akiwa kurgenzi. E, but ni kama hiyo. Wanaenda tu wanapima u Kiingereza yako iko wapi, which is funny sababu wanajua hii Kenya yetu tunafundisha gwa na kizungu. So I don't know why they insist on you having to do the paper. But ni sawa, ni sheria za UK wacha tufanye. Akaenda akakalia hiyo mtiani ya kizungu. Hiyo mtiani si free is that a thousand Kenya shillings akaenda kakalia i o e l t inaitwa kitu kaiyo i o e 
LT ama LF mtaniambia hapo kwa comments wenye mnajua hiyo mtihani akalipa 30000 akaenda akakalia mtihani at this point tayari washakutana na agent mwingine mwenye anawasaidia na hiyo story ya kwenda UK lakini huyu agent karoho karoho kake ni keusi ni wale watu ambao they are people skills non existent anasumbua ni kupiga tu kelele left right and center oh mbona hujaleta hii oh toka hapa unatupotezea wakati so mrea alikuwa ashindu agent kwani hataki hii kazi si au kae nyumbani bas so amekaa amefanya mtihani anarudi huko kupatiana documents na, na uh, results za mtihani sababu ameipita kweli kweli agent anaangalia na muuliza sasa nani alipombia ufanye hii mtihani umefanya the wrong one tafuta nini enda fanya the right one utapoteza nini visa bure wewe kai na tushalipa 30000 ah ah it's the wrong one so msichana kaambia madam mama yake eh hey, mami maze apparently tumefanya the wrong exam lazima turudi tufanye the right exam 30000 <coughs> wakapiga exam nyingine lakini kitu niko ndani ya mrembo hapa inamwambia pana ule agent pia kwende huko ni mtu ayuko motivated na hiyo kazi so waka agree na mami tutafute agent mwingine so wako na kila kitu sasa but sasa waendi kwa ule agent wakaenda kwa mwingine wakaingia huko wakampatia makaratasi yote ni nini 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 then wakampatia eh, eh, exam hii ya kizungu ah agent wa pili anauliza kwa nini mumefanya hii exam ah wakamwambia tumefanya hii sababu tulikuwa tumefanya ingine ule agent wa kwanza akatuambia ni wrong tumefanya the wrong one. Sasa ikabidi tulipe 30,000 kutufanya hii. Akasino. Ile ya kwanza ndio ilikuwa right. Sasa hii ya pili nani? Ah. Ah, mtu amewapotezea pesa bure. Hii ya pili hapana. Hii ya kwanza ndio inahitajika. Ah, that's very bad. Huyo agent akwende huko. So tumelipa 30,000 hapa ya bure. Ah, but ni sawa. Since tuko na the right one, sasa tunaweza fanya nini? Application. Now, <clears throat> ukiwa na the right documents, Ukishapiga application unapatiwa go certificate of sponsorship. Hiyo ukipatiwa sasa unaweza anza kubuka mambo ya visa. Sasa ameenda amepatiana the documents required plus the English exam. Ile ya kwanza yenye alikuwa amefanya sababu agent amemwambia that was the right one. Hii ya pili umefanya nonsense. So ameweka kila kitu sawa sawa <coughs> na waka waka submit wakatulia 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 wiki ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ya nne hizi vitu hazikuji maze rada ni gani so kuuliza uliza wakaambiwa ya 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 kuna kadile kidogo eh, serikali imesema tushikilie hizi vitu kiasi lakini as soon as maze system itarudi safi nitawajulisha so wakatulia wakatulia i think after kitu kama six weeks ndio serikali ikakubali sasa kusukuma kazi twende sasa So maze wanangoja hapo with bated breath wakijua sasa ni hivyo once we get our certificate of sponsorship now we can proceed with the visa application what now email inaingia msichana after hiyo kazi yote na kuzungushwa hii town yote anaambiwa we are very sorry unfortunately hatuwezi kukupatia your certificate of sponsorship akashindwa kwa nini nimefanya kila kitu you have all my documents nimefanya mpaka mtihani ile mnataka watu wafanye why can't i get this certificate of sponsorship really akajipeleka mpaka huko wakamexplainia kwa kina gaubaga wakamwambia sasa wewe ulifanya kila kitu sawa sawa pale kwa english exam ukakosea uli weka results za english exam wrong akashindwa wrong aje Nili, okay nilifanya hii nikaambiwa it's the wrong one nikaenda nikafanya ya pili kufanya ya pili the second agent akaniambia that's the wrong one the one that i had done previously was the right one na hiyo ndio nimefanya nini nime submit na akaambiwa hapana hiyo ya pili yenye unasema ulifanya uh, that's the right one apparently but sasa si unaona ishaenda process yote sasa ah itakuwa trick E, sasa hapo sijui itakuwa namna gani itabidi uanze tu process of fresh but he, this time do the right one sasa ushajua the right one ni gani si unaona umeambiwa na the horse's mouth sisi ndio watu tumekwambia watu wa british now go and do the right one 
So that meant starting the process all over again. Msichana akarudi very heartbroken. At this point wakurugenzi wacheni ni waambie tu ukweli. Mnakumbuka ule agent wa kwanza mwenye alikuwa anapeleka watu US sababu ya mambo ya asylum na oh mashule na nini? Instagram aituli wale watu walikuwa pamoja kwa line na umsichana. Eh negotiate negotiate ni kuenda sana. Majuu wanaingia huko left right and center. Mose ude manajuli zake. Mbona mbona nilisikiza maadhejo? Mbona ona sasa wale wase tulikuwa nao huko bana kwa hiyo agency ya first. Ona vile wanasafiri. Mimi niko hapa mazea hakuna kitu. Hata sijaanza application ya visa. Ah. Very discouraging. But akajiita meeting, kasoma Biblia page tatu kidogo akaniambia hasa eh, Mungu anatakaga yenyewe kupeleka mtu kwa majaribu na mimi sitakuwa mnyonge. Sitakubali shetani yashinde. I will do it again. Ninaanza hii process tena mpaka wakati tutafaulu. So akaanza process tena. Akakusanya viraga eh, document zake sawa sawa, akaenda akapiga ile mtiani tena. Another 30,000. Mnaona vile pesa inatembea hapa? Akapiga mtiani kama mwizi wa Kibeti. Ah, sasa hiyo English hakuna mchezo, anararua kurarua. Hiyo akapiga sawa sawa, ikakuwa fit. So amepeleka barua zote na the right english exam iko sawa e, wale watu wa london wameangalia huko sawa sawa imepiga hapo kama wiki tatu, wiki nne hivi finally akapata kitu inaitwa nini certificate of sponsorship ikaingia very fast bas now we have the certificate sasa tunaenda next step ya kufanya nini ya kuapply visa wakaanza hiyo shughuli wakaenda pale wakapiga application ya visa sawa sawa ni nini nini ikakuwa sasa ni tungoje visa ingie sisi tupande ndege tuwe tuende wacheni ni waambie sababu sasa hapa tushaingia 20 21 towards the end zile vitu hazitoki kwa nini serikali imeshikilia sababu gani hm. Si Putin na huyu rais wa jirani yake hapa na kuaga comedian wameamua kuleta mchezo ndani ya nchi. Ati wameamua kupigana. Nani Ukraine na Russia? So sasa sasa hii watu ni nini wanaenda UK for asylum sababu kwao kumechacha. So the UK government imesema ah, shikilia all the other applications around the world. Shughulikia Ukraine sababu wana kurangori. Sasa mrembo na Julesash. Aki Vita ya Ukraine itafanya mafuta yetu ipande na bado initoe kwa hesabu ya visa. Shuali, kwani hii Ukraine ya kina nani? Shuali, of all the time, yani saindi wameamua tu. Alikuwa very discouraged. Lakini maze kitu deep down inamwambia usijali mami. Mambo itakuwa tu sawa. Wewe patia serikali time, patia Russia na Ukraine time ya wamalize ku kiss and make up. Alafu bas. Mambo yako tuone kama itakuwa sawa. So akatulia 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 at this point i think tushaingia 2022 sasa akiwa ametulia tu ako shughuli zake pale akaamua kuingia pale kwenye mtandao kaingia pale kwenye barua pepe email kufungua email anapata amepata email mufti sana kutoka kwa huko eh, uh, uh, embassy ya Brito wanamwambia congratulations your documents are ready for collection ah Eh hey, wewe safari ameikimbiza for more than a year. Ukihesabu zile kujaza ma green card na nini amekimbiza for more than almost two and a half years. Finally imekaa mikajipa maze. Jewel resilience ya msichana man alikuwa amejitolea alikuwa anajua hii ndio path nataka na sitakuwa swayed na anything. Tunaweka nguvu mpaka dakika ya mwisho. Na kuambia hiyo visa ilitoka hivi. Guys, I am not exaggerating. Eight days later, alikuwa Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Hakuna jokes. Unaweza delay delay kidogo usikie. Oh, oh Mongolia wamekataa kuuzia rashi ya machungwa vita. So uwezi toka. Ah ah, tricky sana. Away, away. Katoka hapo akaingia um, UK. Na as we speak, I think ako karibu five months ndani. Eh, na anasema mambo iko sawa, inambamba na ile life anapitia saa hii huko UK hii kusumbuliwa yote hapa katikati it was totally worth it sababu saa hii akiwa kule mambo ni mufti ana fry proper hai ah story ya resilience hiyo imenifurahisha sana 
nikasema hii lazima ni wachapie kama kuna kitu mtu anakimbiza na inakaa ni kama inaleta segment game usiogope wewe ngangana mambo itakuja ikuwe sa sawa si tuko sawa dao bas wacheni nifungie hapo imekuwa safi sana na watambua nyinyi ni watu kama kuna watu wako hiyo diaspora yenu na hawajui mambo yetu makosa ni yenu mnafahamu wachanue eh, let's gather them we gather them ndio hata tuone kama next year tunaweza kuja kupiga story huko ama kwani sisi ndio tumefungiliwa hii Kenya kwani sisi ni, ni kondo hapana tunafaa tutoke tukuje tuwasalimie huko yeah matatu wezi kuja kuona watu 16 So iteni kila mtu akuje bana tu ndio tukiingia huko mambo ikuwe mufti. Bas, na nimefungia hapo. Guys, catch you later. Ciao. Adios muchachos. Peace. Elianza na ro. Ikamalidia.